from Cheap Homesteading and this is going to be the beginning of my basic beekeeper series. Uh, we're going to go from lighting the smoker, opening the hive, uh, like looking for the queen and uh, checkerboarding. We're going to touch on foundationless frames because my whole, all my operation is foundationless. Uh, so we're going to start off today by lighting the smoker. So let's go. Basically you smoke in the hive and it's just to calm the bees down. Uh, some people say it's um, they, they'll smell the smoke, they'll eat honey, and then they're less apt to uh, be aggressively after you. Uh, others say it just blocks the smells in the hive, which bees communicate by smell. So, I mean, that is possible. But whatever the reason is, it works. So, there is two fuels that I like to use the best. Uh, and I prefer cheaper stuff because uh, these people sell you this fuel uh, that you have to pay for pellets uh, and little discs you put it in when all you have to do is really burn anything. So it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I will use burlap if I have it. By far burlap is awesome. It stays burning long. It's great. Um, but pine needles works probably close second and I'm pretty happy with that and it's free. Uh, so what you do is you get a handful of pine needles and you kind of want to leave it fairly loose at first. You want to have some extra pine needles separate because basically you're going to light it, you're going to get it going, and then you're going to try to shove more pine needles in to kind of smother it a little bit so it'll just smolder. Because you don't want it taking off and having huge flames. That's not what you want. You want it to smolder, but you don't want it to go out either. So, Okay, so there's some dollar store matches. Let's see how they go. Okay. Get it going. And I use my tool, shove it down. And then I get a good handful and you keep pumping the bellows. And I like to get it where it gets a good amount of smoke. Okay, so you want a cool smoke. You don't want it to be like a flamethrower burning the bees. So once you know that it's pretty cool, I come into the yard, I'll smoke each hive, and then I will start my inspections. Um, I don't give them a ton of smoke because it tends to be hard to find the queen if you give it a lot of smoke. Uh, so I give it a few puffs. Each uh, hive in the yard, as soon as I get there, I start my inspection. And then I try to, uh, by the end, I kind of have to give it a few more puffs. Uh, but keep your smoker going. Okay, so we're going to start the inspections. So basically, you're at the hive, you're ready to go into it now. I pry up gently, give a few puffs, and let them set for a little bit. And every movement you make, you make it slowly, because it doesn't matter how much smoke you put down. Uh, if you jerk it around and bang the hives around, uh, they're not gonna be calm. There's just no way. So you pry up the lid 
and you lift it gently. Basically, you'll use it throughout your inspection if you need to. Um, barring that, I don't really like to use it too much more because, as I say, it's hard to find the queens when you use too much smoke. So, uh, hope this helps and you guys have a good one.